everyone. Buongiorno. Hey. Welcome to Italy, huh? Um, for those of you who don't know, I am Brittany. I'm Michael's only sister. I'm his older sister. So Michael and I aren't always in agreement. <laughs> Some of you might know. Um, but I always want what's best for him. And over the past couple of years, getting to know Cece, she has proven herself to be the best for my younger brother. I can already tell she fits in our family so nicely, but tomorrow we get to signify that. Thank you for bringing us all here today. I didn't think I'd cry, but I love you both so very much. You mean so much to me. And Matt, what was the word for let's party in Italian? I forget, I had him look it up earlier, but now I forget. <laughs> but let's party in Italian. <laughs> When I first met you, I told you that you were a dreamer. You lived in your head in a romantic comedy. And now here we are on practically a cliff in Italy, getting married in the happy ending of our own true romantic comedy. I'm so happy to start the rest of my life as your wife. Ciara, I have been waiting for this moment since the first time I saw you. That moment when you walked into CAS 100 at the Thomas Building at Penn State. A casual few minutes late, of course. There are so many moments I could talk about, but one of my favorites is our first night at Indigo together. You were there with friends, and I went because I knew you would be there. At one point in the night, I finally mustered up the courage to tell you that I liked you, to which you responded, you don't even know me. To which I respond today, I think I do. There are so many things in you that I strive to emulate. As you know, one of my favorite things about you is your absolutely mystifying way of making each person you meet feel special. Every day, but especially today, you have made me feel like a true queen. Our relationship was and is not perfect, but it's not supposed to be, because there is no perfect. There will always be struggle. You just need to decide who you want to struggle with. And for me, that's you. Welcome everyone to Michael and Sierra's wedding day. I think we can all say that we are so happy to be with here at one of the most beautiful places and it truly feels like a fairy tale. This day is the day that you guys have been planning and you guys have put in so much time and effort and I want you two to really just take a moment and soak it all in. Today, under these persimmon trees, I commit to being the best counterpart that I can be in our marriage. I vow to continue to mold the skills that you've taught me, to take life less seriously, to sing more and worry less, to communicate instead of cower, to seek adventure, and to laugh when life is funny, as it often is. I have loved you, I do love you, and I vow to always love you. I vow to listen to your stories no matter how confusing the storyline is. I vow to laugh with you when things are funny, but more importantly, when things go wrong. 
I vow to be strong support to you when you are sad and to mirror your enthusiasm when you're ecstatic. I vow to hear you when you need to be heard and I vow that in those times I will not always have to be right or at least I'll try. I thank you for loving me with your whole heart and I vow to do the same. I promise these things to you today and every day moving forward. I love you. I was so curious to see who she would find as her match. I could never quite picture who she would marry. And then she met Mike, and I didn't think it was possible, but he brought her up yet another level. I think it's been said many times, Mike is a uh, unique fella, but you two together are legitimately perfect. You guys are perfect for each other. I see the joy you have brought each other, and I am so happy for both of you. You make each other better versions of yourselves. You work hard and play hard which is something I think our grandpa would be very proud of. So let's raise a glass to the bride and groom. Cheers.